Hey folks, welcome back. We're playing Skyrim again. Now. New game. Bees will start over. And we're gonna make Tati again. Cause reasons. Yep, let's just see how well we can do. There we go. Try and get through this fairly quickly. No, I don't think that'll do. It's always like to look all right. Well, maybe not. Should do it. Brow is fine. Mouth. Seems good enough. Yep. Pretty much happy enough with that. done. Now using the alternate start. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. That's what I was away to do, love. I own property. Which property do you own? And we're gonna go with Shoals Rest Farm. The simple life of a farmer can be its own reward. That it can. We're gonna be doing a little bit more than farming. I trust you're you know. not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? He's got here, dickhead. Now. We got some... Oh, brilliant. Free hat. We got some groundwork we need to get... Oh, hell yeah. Incredibly lucky. We are gonna need those tomatoes. Because we'll be playing in survival mode, which means you need to eat. Get that out of the way. Grab up some of this food. Uh, tomatoes, salt pile. Oh, Jesus Christ. I swear every time testing this, you were incredibly lucky if you could even find a couple of tomatoes. I think we're going to be good for food. I think our and Jesus is watching over us. What weapon do we have? 
Good enough. Actually, let's equip that now. I don't need the basket. We're pretty much good on everything else for now. Yep. Now, we need to go do a little bit of farming. Survival mode. Adds the need to eat, sleep, stay warm. Also adds additional challenges such as no fast travel, reduced calorie weight, leveling up only when you sleep. Yep, but we're gonna do it anyway. And we're also gonna raid all of this. Uh, we're gonna leave the uh, gourds because they're useless. That should do it. Then we're going to head to Rorik's Dead for a minute. So they got a couple of farm plots down here. Be as well take everything we can get from them. They don't mind. Weirdly. Abby's growing all the food they need to survive, but you can run along, take it all, and yeah, nobody bats an eye. Just go with it. It's a common theme for a Let lot of shit that goes Someone's on in this game. Just there. Uh, just go with it. Now, we are. Gonna see if there's any more tomatoes we can find. Tomatoes and leeks seem to be the main ones. Hell yeah. Yeah, apples are handy. Oh, hello. You look a little bit satanic. Okay. Ah. Now. The wheat we're gonna need later on for potions. We don't need it right now. But it is a good idea to get some planted while you can. Steal all of these cabbages, leeks, and tatties. Oh no, they don't have leeks here. Now, if you're desperately needing some gold, you can sell the crops to the uh, farmers, I think. Uh, her, what do you buy? Did you see those gods? Yep. Get out of Wheat, line and cabbage, you have them to deal with. The other hey, guy up the road time, there, he'll buy any leaks that you've got. We sell that by the wagon when you're rich, you can waste as much money as you like on farming. Yeah, try to remember the prices the meantime, for them. I think cabbages will sell for two gold. Tatties and leeks, they sell for one uh, each. And wheat sells for five. Name's Ennis. If Good for you, Ennis. Didn't ask. White wrong, they might know me. I'm just trying to steal all your ties. So like I say, if you're in a honest, bit of a bind and you're really needing the money, you can uh, head up to your own farm. You can use every single plot for wheat. So I believe you get the right amount. You talk to Raldith. Get out of the way. I need that. You hear? No. Raldith is the hardest working farmer in Rorikstead. I'm the one there. Uh, 
If not, you get enough to fill at least half of your farm anyway. Like I say, you can sell each one for five gold to, uh, what's her face here? Nope, can't jump over. Oh well. You shall remain unknown. Let's, uh, nip up here. Grab more cabbage. Now, when you're starting off, if you can't find any tomatoes anywhere, focus on grabbing up as many uh, potatoes rather, and salt piles. Because you're going to need all the food you can carry. Yep, getting a bit tired. But we can pretty much ignore all of that for now. We're also going to talk to uh, one of the guys here. Get a quest going. Eric! You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. I suppose we'll have to. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. Yeah, I think your father's just a bit worried you'll take an arrow to the knee. And then wind up becoming a guard. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. Well. Not so bad around here. Unless, uh, you believe any of the rumors. Yep. More barrels. Oop. Uh, lavender. Now, anything up here we can take? I don't think so. Oh, he's open now. Sweet. Half the time... That shop never seems to open. We really are getting lucky today. Now, just to get a little bit of extra gold at the start here. I have no lockpicks. Never mind. Yeah, hopefully I'll find something later. Actually, we'll just go and speak to the, uh, was it, Moralki? Yeah. Now, if you speak to him before you start earning large amounts of money... I take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. You can sort of cheese this one. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? He took a hole in the head. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Yeah, uh, 65 gold. We can try and persuade him. Or intimidate him. We'll try persuading. Perhaps you should let a father decide what is best for his own son. Yeah, I thought so. Intimidate? Go ahead. Hit me as often as you want. It's not going to change anything other than to make me and the town guard angry. Yeah. Alright, just take the gold. You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit Wyfren soon to fit him for armor. good -o. Now, because we had bugger all in the way of money, it's not going to charge us too much for uh, that one. If we had more, it would take more, so. Uh, we probably could have cheesed it further. Don't have children. With... They're good for nothing at all. Oh, I, I'm way ahead of you, fella. Now then, Eric. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Uh, yep. I can't thank you enough, friend. 
I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Yeah. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Until next time. Sounds like fun. See you around. Now. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Oh, I hear you. Now, we'll head back down to the farm for a minute. Good right. afternoon. Good Good afternoon. Now, the reason why we're getting the uh, Eric storyline off uh, off the ground now is we're kind of gonna need his help, but he is fucking useless, so you know. But let's do some farming. Now, we can only plant these tomatoes thanks to a mod I've got running. I forget the name of it, but uh, probably through editing I'll put it up on the screen or there'll be a note of it down in the description anyway. Let's see, is that four? So let's go for... Right, we'll go for one more of them. Now we're not going to bother planting any potatoes or cabbages here. As you can see, we've got 94 cabbage and 70 potatoes. The trickiest ones to get are leeks and definitely tomatoes. So that's all we're going to focus on for this farm. Now, I'm aware you can find an abundance of leeks in other farms dotted around the world, but until we can get to them, we kind of have to make do with what we've got. So, three. I'll plant one more. And then the rest is going to be for the wheat. Just so we know we've got some of it planted. And sell the rest if we really need to or just store it away. Perfect. Now, wait for that to grow. And we're going to turn what we've got left into some food. Let's see, cabbage soup is 10 points of health, 8 points of stamina, and 380 hunger. So one salt pile, one cabbage. But the one that does slightly better than that is potato soup. Uh, one tatty, one salt pile, 10 points of health, 10 points of stamina, 380 points of hunger. So if you can't find tomatoes, do what you can to get your hands on as many uh, tatties and salt pile, and this one will see you through. But the best one is vegetable soup. Because it does one point of health per second for 720 seconds, one point of stamina for 720 seconds, and 380 points of hunger. And this is what we needed the leeks and tomatoes for. So we're going to go for as many of these as we can. And finish off with the potato. Perfect. Now we'll store everything else in here. And we'll keep a handful of food items on us. Uh, green apples are good to eat pretty much as they are. Store some of these. 
restore them as well, should we need them. Yeah, that should do us. Cathy weight's not too bad. Yeah. Actually. Oop. Put away another two of them. And we don't need any of these. Or that. Now, what we're going to be doing initially, we need to grab this, is we're going to, hello cow, how are you? Oop, fine. We're going to grab up as much corundum and iron as we can, which is why we start here, because you get the two ore veins pretty much on the property and thanks to the I think it's the infinite ore and woodworking mod these won't deplete normally you'd get I think it's three ore from each one then you have to wait for it to respawn but for the interest of just speeding uh, this up and the fact that I won't play this game without that mod now because to hell we're running around all of Skyrim trying to find all the corundum and iron we'll just stick with what we've got here and abuse the hell out of the mod but we're gonna need as much as we can get our hands on of each so we can nip back up to Rorikstead speak to the uh, blacksmith that's there or use his uh, smelter and craft as much steel as we can hopefully get our hands on. Now to anyone who's uh, used to Skyrim as it is without mods will be wondering why in the hell there's a blacksmith up there. That's thanks to another mod and I've forgotten the name of that. I think it's uh, Nope, I've forgotten. I'm sure Editor Me will put it up on the screen, and like I say, I'll be uh, putting all the mods used down in the description anyway, so have a look. Every single one of them comes from the Nexus. But uh, it's, a, it's a really nice mod. It increases a lot of the aesthetics around, I think it's every uh, town. Yeah, it's another one I refuse to play without now. Especially when you're starting off like this, you need that smelter there, because if you don't have it, you're going to have to make your way to, uh, I think White Run's the easiest to get to. The Solitude's not too far as well, so you'd have to head, uh, fill up your inventory as much as you can carry and then head there. Uh, to craft your steel. So having the smelter just up the road is so much handier. But I'll pretty much leave Tati to grab as much uh, corundum as she can. In fact, how much have we got now? Uh, 36. Uh, that'll do. We'll be grabbing a hell of a lot more than that. Because we're going to need this to uh, level up smithing. Because the plan is to stay here for a bit and level up a fair few of our skills before we head to uh, White Run and Riverwood. In fact, we're probably gonna head to White Run fairly quickly. There's a couple of things we need. We need to head to Riverwood to activate the uh, sigil stones, is it? 
uh, activate them and it just makes leveling up a fair bit quicker for whichever skill you go for we'll be going for warrior first and then potentially uh, making our way back here in fact no white run has what we need for leveling up so we'll, we'll do what we can around here anyway. And I'll be back once when I've got enough iron. Alright, that should be enough for now at least. 55, hell yeah. In fact... Ah, oh, no, screw it. I'll be grabbing more later, so we'll head back up to the blacksmith. Go in the usurp his smelter for a minute. Whatever the hell usurp means. I heard it somewhere, I thought I'd use it. Eh. As you can see, where hunger is increasing. Considering it's a 380 points, I think we can ignore it for a little bit longer. Smelter. Steel. And... Grab as much of that. And... Perfect. Now, thanks to another mod we've got. Here we go. Crucifix Shoulder Dagger. I forget the name of this mod as well. It clues probably there. But it's a really cool armor that you get. Yeah, one of my favorites. But, uh. Well, if we keep Eric around. Oh no. You need, uh. Extracted Holy Light. Yeah, we probably won't bother. We'll make up a few of these. Lifting up a bit. Solid. Keep at it. Thank you. Did you want to buy them? Yes. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Gudo. Yeah, we'll sell them some of these one at a time so we can level up their speech. Have a look, see what he's got for sale. Well... We'll grab that mace. The hunting bow. And... We'll take the steel arrows as well. Even though we could make our own later on. Let's see. Go for. Well, we don't. We'll grab the leather armor for now. We don't need to equip it yet. We'll grab that studded. Oh. Or we won't. Sell him some more of these. Now, oop, nope. If you don't have that armor mod, then you would have to go for iron daggers, which you would need uh, leather strips. You can buy them from this guy, or just regular leather. You can go out hunting as well. Uh, get as much leather as you can, and then make the uh, iron daggers in the same way and sell them to him it'll be a lot less money that you're getting but we're mainly doing this to level up our skills rather than getting money uh, we'll be rolling in so much money later on uh, thanks to other skill leveling 
But we are gonna buy these leather strips and Yeah, that'll do. We'll sell them the rest of these. Yeah, you can have that one as well. Perfect. Until next time. Head back home. Drop off the armor because we don't need to carry it just now. now thankfully, we didn't have to resort to uh, stealing. So we shouldn't have any hired thugs to worry about. Every time I was uh, playing this before to test out different things, in order to get the tomatoes I had to steal them from somebody's barrel. And every time they would send hired thugs, I can probably go and steal something, get that ball rolling just to show you anyway. Which I probably will do because dealing with it three hired thugs on your own this early. Well, it's funny to say the least. So we'll store that, we don't need it. Favorite that, that. And these. We'll just equip the bow. Now, this time, oh, we're maybe going to need to check in on Eric. Which, if I was smart, I would have done while we were already up here, but... I'm not, so I didn't. Uru? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. I... don't have a sweet roll. So you might be right. What are you gonna do about it? I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of need. Great job. Totally worth the taxes. If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you picked the right place. Well, I picked a place down there, but... I get what you mean. Thanks. Now let's see if uh, Eric's available yet. Ah, there he is. Good to see you again. How would you like to hire a brave, if untested, mercenary? Now this is what really pisses me off about Eric. If not for me, he'd still be working in that farm. I'm the one who parted with money so that his father could get him the armor. And he has the absolute fucking cheek to sit there and charge me 500 gold to get him to follow. Fuck you, Eric. You're hired. Lead away. Fucking Eric. You lead, I'll follow. <sighs> You're lucky we need you. Well, we could do it without him, but, you know, he makes a good meat shield. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. How the hell would that even be a thing? Ha! <laughs> See? You're still alive? Shouting someone to death, what a joke. Like that would even be possible, come on. Fuck's sake. I'm telling you, these guards have been, uh, huffing something. Now, come on, Eric. We got a job for you to do. It's a very important job. Potentially the most important job in all of Skyrim. 
you. Fucking come on. It just feels right somehow. Having this new life as an adventurer. No problem? How can I help? You can take this uh, mighty weapon. And I need you. At first I thought I'd miss what do you need? To what wield need? it. And slay okay, got the it. wood. That's it. Slay it. Good on else. While you're doing that. Now you just keep doing that. Good boy. And I'll be over here. Now, again, I'll be back once when I've got enough of this. Or, you know, enough for now. We always need more. Now, that should hopefully be enough. But we'll grab another one. Perfect. See how many we're dealing with now. A5. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Eric, you can Good uh, stop Great. doing that. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Now we need to head back to the smelter. Turn that ore into ingots. the other trader. In fact, I'll nip along to him first, because we did find some gems, and I think we can sell the gems to him. Let's see, so long as he's open. And in. He's the main one. There you, you need are. something? Whoa. Hmm? What do you need? Ah, We're too late. Or it's broken, either way. Ah, well, not what we're here for. We'll head up here. Eric, come on, keep up. You're cutting in the wood we need. Now. Grab iron. Uh, here we go. Uh, mashing the A button on the controller and enter on the keyboard. Essentially get a turbo mode. Perfect. Now, Eric. Oh. Eric! What? Uh... All right, it's just a, uh, it's just a light. Come on. It just feels right somehow. Having this, no problem. How can I help? You can give me the wood. <laughs> Eric's giving me wood. Anywho, let's get going then. Let's use this and craft. Oop, they're right there. Iron arrows. Which also levels up your sniffing, so you could do it this way. If you want it. Perfect. Which is why it's a good idea to have a companion with you so you can make them chop all the wood, keep it in their inventory, save it clogging up yours. Now we'll. Yeah, come along. Head back down here. Now, while it will be slower, it'll save me having to uh, trek all the way over there. We're just gonna level up some of our skills 
while we're here is thanks to a uh, yet another mod. We head down here to these training dummies. And we'll grab this first. As you'll see, hopefully. Anytime today. Oh, okay. Okay, is this even working? There it goes. You can now level up uh, one-handed, two-handed, archery, and I uh, believe destruction. I'm not sure if you can level up block by uh, shield bashing them. I'd assume you could, but we can try that later. Now, it might be an idea to go and get that uh, sigil stone first. Just to level this up a lot faster. As you can see, it's really slow going for now. So what we'll do instead to make sure I can actually survive the trip. Is a uh, hang back here. Eric out the way. Eric. Come on. I wouldn't mind flinging arrows at you, but I still need you for stuff. Oop, getting really hungry now. I believe the further away you are, the more damage it does, and the more experience you get. Which is why we're hanging back here. There we go. So I'm gonna sit here for however long it takes to uh, level this up to at least level 30. And then I'll be uh, back once when we're ready to go to bed and level up. So I'll see you all then. Now, sort of pop back in early because there's a couple of things I forgot to mention. The reason why we made uh, so many iron arrows, you can throw as many arrows at these dummies as you like. You can only ever collect uh, 10. Let's have a look actually. Yeah. Well, prove me wrong. I oh, hope nobody misses that. The fuck are you on about? My you fucking arrows now. anyway. What? You need to leave. Uh. Ooh. You need to leave. Okay. Well, that was weird.
off that it's not bugged out. No, he seems fine with me now. Good. That was fucked up. Anywho. As I was saying, you can only you can only collect a handful of arrows back. So you're better off making just the uh, shitey iron ones. That way, if you lose like a hundred of them or whatever, it really doesn't matter because well, I think they're one of the worst arrows in the game anyway. So no great loss. Now. That fucking interaction is completely thrown off where the hell I was going. Huh. The first time I've ever seen that. Oh, now, uh, yeah, now I remember. Uh, for whatever reason, I think they've uh, nerfed the arrow weight. I swear blind, with the survival mode, arrows had weight to them. I think it was uh, 0 0.1 per arrow. Now either something in the mods has broken it, or they've taken that out. I have no idea which it is. But I was actually okay with the arrows having weight, because it makes sense. I mean, the wood wouldn't. They? But for whatever reason, they don't now. Now, the reason why I know is because uh, when I was testing this before and I made about this much uh, arrows, I couldn't move with the weight of them. But considering I was just sitting here anyway, it didn't really mean all that much crouch down again anyway. Yeah, 21. Now. Well, I'll be back once when I've got this up to uh, level 30 or probably a bit beyond. Uh, the other reason why I'm doing this is I have the game set on yeah, legendary difficulty. I might actually lower that a bit. Just to give us a little bit of a fighting chance. Uh, we'll keep it on legendary, we'll see how we go. But uh, we're pretty much going to die to everything immediately out in the road. So I'd like to try and give myself a bit of a head start. But once when we're done here, we're going to head off to uh, White Run or past White Run anyway. Uh, grab that sigil stone. And there's a couple of these mannequins at White Run, so we'll just use them to level up a one handed, so long as we survive. Well, I'll be back. How many arrows have I had to throw at this prick? Ah, well, it's worth it in the end. I mean, I suppose what we could have done is, uh set Eric here to an essential NPC using the console commands and then just flung the arrows at him. Well, there's an idea, actually. Everyone bear that in mind for future. If we need to do this again, I nominate Eric. We're getting really hungry now. Should be about at level 30 for archery. I 
Either that or we're only halfway there. This is why we really should have got that stone first. Starving. Fine. Power through. There we go. That'll do. Grab some of these back. AM. Yeah, we'll sleep for a little bit. And now we can level up. So we shall go health, stamina, health, stamina. Put the other one into archery. Whatever. Critical shot. More damage. More zooming in. Hmm. I think we'll just go for damage. And. Yep. Really hard. Soup. Perfect. Oh, wonder why you were running at me. Now, uh, still waiting on those plants, but ah, whatever. It's fine. What we'll do? Actually, what's sitting garden this way? Wolves again, alright. That's doable, but we don't need to head that way yet. Uh, ah, there you are. It just feels right somehow, having this new life as an adventurer. What do you need? You won't mind what this, you will you? Can't do that, sorry. Yeah, didn't Anything need. else? Good I'm fairly friend. sure even well, if you give him a no pickaxe, How can I help? he still won't do it. But we'll try anyway. You hold that. What do you need? What do you need? Can't do that. Sorry. Yeah, okay. At first I thought I'd miss You're one. useless. No problem. How can I help? Give me that back. Lead on. And uh, to hell with it. Let's just grab up more corundum and iron. So we can make more steel, make more daggers, in fact. Maybe we can. Yeah, we'll make some more arrows as well. Uh, steel this time because it's. Very damage. We're not going to make as many as we did for uh, iron. Even though there's no weight to them now, apparently, but you know. Well, I'll grab up all that we need. I'll get uh, Eric working on the wood. I'll wait until I'm getting the iron, though. Last time I had a fair distance from an NPC gathering wood that disappeared. So rather than deal with that, we know it works. Uh, if I'm up at the iron ore, can have him chopping the wood, so... I'll work on doing all that, and I will meet you up at the smelter once when we're ready to start crafting. <laughs> 